biggest takeaway I want for my peers to have through Paint Love is just to get that that art that they haven't been able to experience because for all four years that I've been here, there have been no art classes, extracurriculars. It's very rare that we have any art activities at all. And so having this incorporation of Paint Love where you guys are able to come once a month gives me and other students that sense of community and be able to express our creativity when most times we really aren't able to. So just having that creative community really brings us together. I guess for the world, just the way we operate day to day, we might not notice it, but the things we do every day have some form of art incorporated into it to make it, give it some type of liveliness and, I don't know, a personality that is oftentimes underappreciated, but in the full scope of things, the world really needs art because it's, it's just essential to the operation of the world. Amelia is a senior student, which is, is very significant because she has put this into place and she didn't know that this was even gonna happen this year, but was passionate enough about it becoming a fixture for future Costa Rica students that she has spent her time on it. I just think that that deserves to be said because it's, it's the most selfless thing. You know, she's not doing it in order to have it for herself or her friends. It was for other students and for the school overall. I wanted to be that one to create the change within the school, give the students a sense of community through their creativity again. And so that's really, that's that alongside the inspiration from my mother and my classmates, seeing them do artwork and say, man, I really wish we had a club for this or something like that. That's kind of what pushed me to, to partner with Paint Love. I think it's the, the biggest important piece of course, it's fun, but it's consistent. Students and parents can look at that flyer and say, I can plan ahead for this. There's some organizations that say, well, you know, we'll tailor to what you need, but you all really mean it. Like you really do tailor to what the school needs and respond accordingly. I compare the first time to the last time we met, I can just like see the difference in all the kids who came because the first time I know it was just, it, was, it wasn't like a tiny group, but it was a kind of small group and they were all like, what's going on here? This is new, this is it's nice, but what's really going on? And then like the last time we met, I saw a lot more people came, the room was packed, everyone was having a great time, everyone was bonding, it was just, it's that sense of community I keep talking about. Paint Love really just helped bring that, bring all the artists together who maybe never even talked to each other, or have even seen each other around the school. We finally have that place where we can come together and create art and it's just, that's what I've been yearning for since I came to Crystal Ray. A lot of the initiatives that I've tried to either lead or put into place, the best ones have come from like student voice initiatives because it's not adults assuming what is needed, right? It's like partnering with students in the process to articulate what their needs are and like where those needs are not being filled. I started vocalizing obviously the gap that I saw as well in terms of arts programming um, and just a creative outlet. Amelia was the first one to jump on and say like, yes, in my experience, you know, as she described, there have been things in the past where they haven't been consistent. So looking at, you know, where is the need that can be filled in terms of arts programming and like how can kids get access to that? And then also how can it be something that takes care of their mental health? Getting that experience to do something new that I've never tried before and being able to do that with my friends and other members of my community and also having other artists outside of my community be able to teach me something new and give me that experience that I can use for my future. It really just, I don't know, kind of inspired me. I think that like looking at the mental health piece being incorporated and Paint Love being a trauma-informed agency where both volunteers and staff are kind of trained to look beyond like what is maybe being presented in front of them and also beyond maybe the student that's in front of them, what they could be experiencing and then how to connect them with the different avenues of support, um, I think was just another way for 
us to be able to support our students in a way that also fuels them, right? Something that they are interested in and are not being forced to do or, and, and it's looking at it in a different way um, rather than just like the streamlined academic skills based way. I'll be honest, Chris Ray is a little dull and I'm honestly really excited that we've been given the opportunity to have art. And our fears who came was like such an accessible point for our students to like talk about where he has been and like how graffiti and like art has shaped his life. It was just great to watch different kids experience it. Everyone should have the opportunity to be artistic, right? And no one should classify themselves as not being able to do something that really is open to interpretation. There's not a right or wrong piece. So I think it's important to affirm that. A little background about me. My mom used to be an art teacher and so Basically, since I can use my hands and pick up a pencil, I've been doing art. Because my mom kind of exposed me to the arts world and showed me the importance of art, it's always just been an essential part of me and something that I honestly don't know that I could live without. In, in my mind, you know, students are entitled to those services free of charge or should be within a school that wants to shape them holistically. So I think art is becoming really important especially coming back from the pandemic. Like Amelia said, trying to make something consistent. Like there's been spaces where it's existed before and been supported, um, but especially with all the disruption, it hasn't carried through. So this is an opportunity for, you know, Chris Ray to embrace that and to see that it's not another thing to add. It's like something that can be embedded and that's actually gonna benefit us long-term. Paint Love attracted me because it was so um, holistic. Right, and it's looking at art as just not one thing or another. Obviously, we're doing different categories of art when you all come in, um, but the same thread work is there throughout of like, this is to take care of yourself, and this is to build yourself. Lacking that creativity and artistic nature that I feel every school deserves to have, because I feel art is an essential part of the community. Art should be and hopefully is important to the world because it's enjoyed by so many different types of people and it's a connector. Um, when you experience art, you experience community. Like you didn't even comment on how people's graffiti art looked, you commented on how they were interacting with each other, which is like very inspirational that it doesn't even matter what's on the paper. It was, it was important that people were relaxed and enjoying themselves and expressing themselves very few things in the world where you can be told to like come as you are and it's really actually okay um, and art is one of those spaces.